Hey folks, today we're covering Lutron's Radio Raw 3 home lighting and automation system. Hang out after the break to learn how we're over engineering automation here in the new place. Welcome to part one in a multi-part series exploring Lutron RAW 3 and its capabilities in the home. So what is Lutron? What does it provide? Why are we implementing Lutron RAW 3 and what will we accomplish? First and foremost, Lutron controls lighting in a home, but it can also be extended to control many other automations through either the RF module or the integration in the Lutron app. Thermostats, for example, are linked up via the app. We'll talk more on integrations later. Let's talk about lighting. If you think about how much light impacts your home life, you can see why Lutron would focus on it. Whether it's movies, waking up, coming home, or the sun moving throughout the day, we're constantly tweaking the amount of light entering the home. Lutron provides a suite of switches, dimmers, and keypads to control most types of lighting, automated shades, and scenes. Simple tasks like home and away can be programmed in the Lutron designer. They provide occupancy sensors to allow lighting changes upon entering or exiting a room, and time-based automation for everything that needs to happen throughout the course of the day. One critical thing to note is that Lutron systems generally do not control RGB unless you're installing their flagship QSX system. You can integrate with Hue and other providers through the integration. One other call out since this is Geek Dojo over engineered and we love to play with technology, Lutron's Leap API is appealing for extending the system ourselves or integrating with other automation technologies like Home Assistant or Savant. For those that want to start out small, Lutron's product line provides a path to grow a single room at a time. You can buy the processor and then just do the family room or the kitchen. Then when you have the means, go ahead and add additional rooms or occupancy sensors. Don't feel that you need to do everything on day one. You definitely have new ideas as the project progresses. Give yourself time to think them through. Lutron Radio RAW 3 works through a centralized processor using Lutron's proprietary radio protocol. You replace your normal switches and dimmers with Lutron's devices which connect back to the processor over the wireless connection. In addition, Lutron provides a suite of engravable keypads to support scenes. While the system is very effective and relatively cheap to install in an existing home, it does have a few drawbacks. First, each lighting circuit must be tied to a Lutron switch. This means you might have larger switch banks than normal. For example, in a bathroom, main lights, accent lighting, and fan would all need switches, plus a possible keypad for scene management. Running a dimmer switch in two places requires a single wire to be run uh, so the dimmers can talk to each other. You'll see it referenced as the blue wire. This can cause some additional sheetrock work to occur. You do need to do quite a bit of homework up front in order to make sure you have the right dimmers for the bulbs you're running. Regarding that last point, I highly recommend taking advantage of Lutron's Lighting Control Institute and going through their introductory LP800 course. It's designed for new employees with installers, but open to the public and will give you a good idea of some of the considerations when putting together a more robust lighting system. I'll put the link to the Lighting Control Institute in the description below. After signing in, search for LP800. Once you feel you have a good handle on switching, dimming, and the various light bulb types, head over to and take Lutron's RAW3 certification course, LP831. It will teach you everything you need to know about Lutron's designer software and is a requirement to use the software. There is a test at the end, but as long as you paid attention to the videos, you'll be fine. The test literally follows the same steps as the training. After completing the certification, you'll be given a link to download the software. Go ahead and download whatever is appropriate for your OS and install it on your computer. The tool helps you design the whole system, program various scenes, and do other automations. I can say I was impressed with the ease of use and I had most of the layout at the house down in a couple hours. The generated bill of materials is fantastic and really helps keep a handle on the total MSRP of the system. Once you have a room done, it's a good time to generate the bomb and decide how to proceed. Do you want to do the whole system at once or room by room? In the next video, we'll walk through the initial setup we did in the Lutron designer as well as demo some of the automation work. As you explore Lutron, feel free to leave any comments or questions below, and as always, if you like the video, give us a like. It really helps us out. Likewise, this is the first of six or seven Lutron videos, so go ahead and subscribe and click the notifications button if you'd like to see more.